Welcome everyone, it's Tammy at Creative Girl Vintage. My husband and I walk every morning and there's a park by our house and I'm noticing every day there's more and more robins. So it's a good indication spring is right around the corner. So today is today's project is inspired by the robin. This is Hello Spring done on a wooden spool and I've got a sweet little um, robin image here that I scanned from one of my vintage cards and worked my magic with my photo editing program and I was able to put together just a cute little bundle for you guys. I know you love getting these images and doing projects with them. So the little birds in here and some backing paper. This is uh, my new velvet trim. This is a beautiful robin's egg blue velvet and it's all tied up in a bundle with some coffee dyed calico. So so I am really ready to kick off crafting for spring by sharing this sweet robin decoration with you. So let's begin. All right, to start this project, I'm going to start by preparing my paper. So in the bundle, I've put the image and some extra cardstock here. So those of you who watch me know that whenever I'm making anything with the paper that we always go through this step. We're always making our paper a little bit stronger. I know there's a lot of you out there that this is your first time to watch, so I definitely don't want to leave some steps out of the process. So I'm just going to flip my image and I'm just using the Scotch Create glue stick. It's my favorite one. And I'm just going to put a nice layer across the back of the image okay and then we're just going to take that and lay it right on top of our cardstock like so okay now a lot of times I'll take and put this under a book but I'm going to go ahead and cut it out today just so we can keep rolling always put down something to cover your work surface uh, because this this will get on your table or whatever so keep it protected. I'm going to use a big scissor today instead of my little tiny ones. And the reason being is that we are going to cut off little Robin's feet today. And Mr. Robin, I'm really sorry, but they just don't work in this project. But um, when you guys, this image, you may want to do something completely different with it. And you may want Mr. Robin's feet. So I'm definitely leaving them on there. And this is a super easy one to cut out. There's not a lot of fussiness going on here. So let's just go around. And I'm actually using a little bit stronger cardstock than what I normally use. So this is a lot sturdier. And it's not a hundred, it's not as easy to cut out as this that um really thinner cardstock. So um, the big scissors actually work a little bit better on this too as well. And just from the handling and everything, he's a little bendy. So we are definitely going to take care of that problem. Okay, there is our Robin all cut out. I'm just going to grab a book and I'm going to pop him under that book. It's going to flatten him out and that glue is going to dry. And while we're doing that, this is Hello Spring, which I actually made these on some little floral images, which looks so pretty. And these are super easy to cut out. Okay, there's Spring. Where'd it go? There it is. Got to find it real quick before I scoop it off into the trash can. Okay, I'm going to pop these under the book as well. Oh, and real quick, you guys, look at this book. Isn't that adorable? Real quick, there's this man. Every year, he has a garage sale. He lives a couple towns away from me. And um, the whole garage sale is old books. And so, and <laughs> the best part, every single book at his garage sale is 25 cents. I have so many books, you guys. I mean, who would leave behind the Ellie Katz kitten for 25 cents? I mean, you can't do it. You, you got to take it. So I got a lot of books, but I just love them so much. 
All right, we'll get rid of that. And let's, while well, this stuff is flattening out, I've just got an old wooden spool here. Um, I find these a lot of times at garage sales. I find them at the flea market in box, little sewing boxes of stuff. Some have threads, some don't. This one doesn't have thread today, but that you could do this project with one with thread. It would be fine. And what I'm going to do here to prepare this is I have a little circle just cut out. It's just with some cardstock. I just use my little hole punch thing to cut it out because I'm going to put it on the bottom here. So I'm basically the idea here is to seal up the hole. So even if you just want to cut out a little circle, if you don't have a punch, it's, it's no big deal. You're just basically just sealing up that hole and you'll see why in a second. We'll flip that over. Okay. Hole is sealed and let's go to this. Let's untie this calico here and we've got this really pretty robin's egg blue velvet trim there's my beginning right there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap a little bit around this spool just lay that right there you can put as much around your spool or as little it's totally up to you I kind of like that. Well, maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Maybe right there. Trim it off. And just using my glue gun, I'll just tack that down right there. Maybe a little more. Okay. And then let me just grab another piece off here. Enough to tie a bow with. And let's pull down. Get those glue strings out of there. Okay, I'm going to lay this right here, right in the center, and just tie a pretty bow. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller by just pulling these ends in a little here. Okay, trim, trim. There we go, cute. And then this calico, isn't this beautiful? This is like a Laura Ashley calico. I thought this would be really sweet. I'm gonna start just a little glue right here and lay this at the bottom. Come here, turn around there, there we go. And Just use it as a little trim around the bottom. Okay, our spool is looking pretty. All right, let's see how our bird's doing here. Ah, he's nice and flat, he looks good. And as I always say, using the extra card stock on the back not only makes this really strong, but you have really nice looking back to your work. Okay. Now, this is just a little craft stick from the craft store. And um, I, those of you who bought my St. Patrick's Day kit for the little uh, St. Patrick's Day couple, um, this was in there, so you'll be familiar with that. So we're just gonna be using that. And this is probably the only part that, you know, it just takes a little time to get it right. So the reason we closed up the bottom is because this is gonna, I'm just gonna be shooting glue down in this hole to hold the stick in place because this is gonna hold our robin. So we know that we want our stick this tall, put it down in there. I'm gonna set my robin maybe right here where I think he looks good. And I'm not gonna worry about the stick right there because that's, that's gonna be covered with his nest. Let me take this out and just eyeballing, I can kind of see right here is where I wanna cut it. So let me just keep my finger there just going to use my little cutters here and break that right off. Okay. And let's pop that back down in there again and put our little bird. That's perfect. Okay. And all right, once again, I'm just going to do a little, you can do a little eyeballing or you can make yourself like a little pencil mark too. So you get your glue in the right spot. Let me just move it a little. 
make a little line right there. That's where I know I want my glue. Do a little hot glue, press my stick in, turn it over really quick just in case I want to make any kind of adjustment. And there, we've got him right on there. Let's take our hot glue, smush it into our spool, and then set our stick right down in there. Okay, there he is. It's all in there. Looks good. While we're at it, let's do the Hello Spring. And I'm going to use um, for this, let me see, here it is. I'm going to be using my Fabrifix glue. And, you know, I just put it in this little bottle. Just to make it easier to handle. I thought this would be a better choice today because... It gives you a second to just get that exactly where you want it. You know, hot glue is a real commitment. <laughs> you know, it's just stuck on there so, so quick. Okay. Hello, spring. So pretty with that little floral background. All right. Put this away. Okay, so next, let's bring out the goods here. This is the Excelsior, and you'll always find this at the craft store where the Spanish moss is in that area. I like this a little better than the Spanish moss. Spanish moss can be kind of dusty, and um, I like this. It kind of, you can kind of manipulate it to do what you want a little bit. So I just kind of squeeze it around to get kind of a little bit of a nest feel. And... Hot glue on the top of your spool, a little bit on that wood there, because then you know wherever you put the glue, the stuff's going to stick. Okay, and this is just like, just working it in around here. Grab something here so I could just push this under, under that little tail. There we go. Get it out of the way of the tail. And I like the messy look of this, but... You know, we, if it's too messy, we'll just we'll just give it a little trim. Okay. Hot glue back here. And let's just smush this big old piece right in. Okay. It's pretty messy, but it looks pretty cute too. We'll cut a little bit of it. A little bit of it off. There we go. Okay, now this is the part that I thought was really cute. I'm just going to take a little scrap piece, a couple little pieces of this Excelsior here. Let's grab a few little pieces out. And on the back side of his beak, I am going to put a dot of glue right there and I'm just going to take these pieces and just set them right on here on that hot glue I know if I touch that I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it and there's gonna be glue everywhere but I had to I'm gonna press that down all right and you can just trim this a little bit and he is, looks like he is carrying little pieces here for his nest that is really sweet isn't it can you guys see that that looks so sweet okay and then you know I just had one little finishing touch here and on the one that I showed you I actually used these were some little flowers that I found at Hobby Lobby and I thought they were so pretty and um let me just cut one of these off. And let me just poke it in right there. Okay, this is really a darling little project to welcome spring. I think 
hope this was a sweet and easy craft project to welcome in spring. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you feel inspired. And you guys, as usual, thank you for your support, for your fabulous comments. And also, you've been sharing with me um, via Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy messages um, the things you've been making. And, you know, we are really a crafty bunch around here. I got to tell you, we are so blessed, absolutely blessed. And keep those pictures coming. I love seeing what you're doing. And uh, the crafting stash bundles in my Etsy shop, the link to my shop is below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my videos, um, to my channel, please do so because I've got so much more crafting coming up and I don't want you to miss another project. Take care, my friends, and I will see you soon. Thank you.